guys welcome back this is part two of the patching of the ssdt but this time we are going to merge the patched ssdt and your original config file so that it will take effect we are going to merge it with the same tool we used to patch it so right now you have to put the efi we are going to use on the desktop this is the sample EF I'm going to use as, as an example. So I'm going to use this one. This is just straightforward thing and very easy. You from here you will you choose patch merge. You won't choose the SSDT timeline. SS SSDT timeline again. From this one here, you drag and drop your config i mean the original config from the efi we are going to use for the installation you drag and drop it then you press enter once you press enter you choose number two from the selection and select the patched from here that's all once you choose number two and select the open core if you are using clover you select clover you are using open core you select the one with oc this one everything is done just like that it's done now you can quit it it's now it's now it's time to now import it into the efi from this you are going to need this is the new efi created so this is the one we are going to use you will find the folder inside the ssdt time folder the one which previously the SSDTs were in. Yeah, you will find it where there's all the patches. You will find the same config file, the new one you just created. You will also find that one inside the same folder as usual. From here, the ones I deleted is the already patched one inside my SSD, my APCI folder. So I deleted it. So you have to copy it and come and delete the old one. Then you paste it. Once you paste it, you open it with OCAT. From here, now we are going to import it one by one. So you go open the result. You only copy the ones with the file extension eml eml that is the only file extension we are going to import make sure if there's any previous one inside it you just delete it you copy all the old ones with eml only there are two types there's one with dsl don't copy that one copy the one with extension eml only once you copy it inside, make sure the config file is opened in OCAT. I will put the download link in the description so you can get it. Once you import it, you, have, you will see it has been marked as green. That means it's working. Once all the AML files have been imported, that's all. Now, make sure all your catch files have been updated in the OCAT. From here, you have to save it everything now it's done there's no save it then you go to the you go to the download section make sure you download you update all your catch files yeah you go here the all marked as red is outdated so you mark those in red then you update them to the latest version so it will turn green after that, make sure you update your open core to the latest version. This is simple, as you all can see. Once updated, you click an update catch. It's all turn green. That means you are good to go. And make sure you update the open core also. And you click and get the latest version of open core. You will update that one also. Once it's done, 
you start synchronizing, then you say, that's all. Now, your EFI is now ready to be installed. It's ready. Everything is set up. So you just have to put it on a pen drive and do the new, make sure you don't test it on a already installed version. Make sure you do a new installation for, for you to like the system to start with the new patch. Make sure you delete the old one and you are left to delete the new one. Now, this is all. That's all, guys. Thank you. Thank you, guys. That's all. Goodbye. Hello guys, <clears throat> this is for just for testing purpose. I just left my PC on for 24 hours. Let's say I left it on for midnight, one night, let's say 12 hours. So it's time, this, now I just wake up, so I want to try. If the wake up and the sleep I patched is still working, as you can see, the computer is in hibernation mode. So I will just press any key and see it, it if it will turn on wow as you can see it's working it's working it's working